With Russia's recent invasion and attack on Ukraine, many countries around the world have begun to place sanctions against Russia on certain goods, services, and even travel. As an added pressure to be placed on Russia, authorities from countries all around the world have also begun to seize the superyachts owned by Russian billionaires who have aligned themselves with Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia. Today, we are going to be taking a look at all the billionaire Russians' yachts that have been seized so far. It's believed that sanctions are one of the toughest actions that a country can take aside from declaring an all-out war. As a part of these sanctions, countries all around the world have started to seize luxury properties and vehicles owned by Russian oligarchs. This includes multiple super yachts that had been docked in ports all around the world. This is happening in countries all across Europe, and now the United States is planning on joining the movement. President Biden announced in his State of the Union address that he is coming for anything that Russian billionaires have. He said, We are joining with our European allies to find and seize your yachts, your luxury apartments, your private jets. We are coming for your ill-begotten gains. And as we said, multiple yachts owned by Russian billionaires have already been the subjects of seizures, and those that haven't are being restricted from leaving their ports. Some super yachts, such as the Ragnar, are even being denied fuel until they can be properly seized. Let's take a look at all of the yachts that have been seized from Russian billionaires so far. Amor Vero the Amor Vero is a super yacht that was designed by Igor Labanov and constructed by Ocean Co. The 280-foot vessel hit the waters in 2013 upon completion and earned Igor the award for best designer of that year. The Amor Vero is capable of reaching top speeds of around 20 knots thanks to its dual MTU 20V 4000 M73L engines. She can house up to 14 guests, including the owner, who has access to not one, but two private upper decks on board the ship. It takes a total of 28 crew members, including the captain, to keep everything on board working properly, and as of right now, the yacht is not available to be chartered. The Amoravero was one of the first yachts to be seized following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. On March 2, 2022, the superyacht was seized by French authorities and is said to remain in the Mediterranean port of La Ciotat for the time being. The main reason for seizing the Amoravero was due to the fact that it was believed to be owned by Russian billionaire Igor Sechin. Sechin isn't believed to be the direct owner of the boat, but according to authorities, he was found to be the main shareholder. Lady M Lady M took to the waters on May 12th of 2013 out of Palmer Johnson Shipyard in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. The yacht is 213 feet in length and is capable of reaching a top speed of 28 knots. She runs on two MTU-16V 4000 M93L engines that have a combined horsepower of 9,222. The hull of the ship was constructed out of aluminum and was made to be a semi-displacement hull, which allows the vessel to maintain such impressive speeds. The Lady M is capable of hosting up to 12 guests and comes with six luxurious suites for them to stay in. When they aren't in their rooms or enjoying the sights of the sea, guests can enjoy spending their time at the onboard beauty salon. Lady M was one of three yachts seized by the authorities in Italy over the month of March following the invasion of Ukraine. This was most likely rough news for Alexei Mordashov, the owner of the Lady M and Russia's wealthiest businessman. However, he is allegedly the owner of multiple super yachts, so things could certainly be worse. Lady M is currently sitting in the port of Imperia, where it is going to remain for the time being. Valeri Built by Lursen Shipyard in Germany, the Valeri is a motor-powered superyacht that was finished and set sail back in 2011. The vessel has a length of 85.1 meters, or 279 feet. Valeri is capable of accommodating up to 17 guests at a time in the nine guest cabins, and the ship is run by a crew made up of 28 members. The yacht comes equipped with a central bar alongside an outdoor swimming pool and a jacuzzi to ensure those on board enjoy themselves and get to relax properly. Thanks to her two overhauled 2000 kilowatt MTU 16V 4000 engines, Valeri is able to hit a top speed of up to 17 knots while 
maintaining a smooth and comfortable cruising speed that rests around 12 knots. Spanish police seized the $140 million yacht in Barcelona on March 14th. The Valeri is registered to a woman named Anastasia Ignatova, and the reason that it was seized was because of who her stepfather is. Sergei Shemizov is a former KGB officer who is now in charge of Rostec, a defense organization. Anastasia herself is currently under U.S. sanctions along with her stepfather and mother. Sailing Yacht A Sailing Yacht A is a yacht that was built by Nobiskrug in Kiel, Germany, and set sail on the open ocean back in 2017. As the name suggests, the super yacht is a sail-assisted motor vessel, which means that the ship is propelled through the water through the use of two line shaft controllable pitch propellers that are working along with three large masted sails. Sailing Yacht A is 468 and a half feet long and is capable of reaching a top speed of 21 knots, which is why many have called it a boundary-pushing super yacht. She is the largest vessel to be built by Nobiskrug. The sail-assisted superyacht is capable of accommodating up to 57 people, including guests and crew, and has many advanced features designed to entertain those on board. From an underwater observation pod to the jacuzzi above the deck, the sailing yacht A has something for everybody. As the $580 million superyacht was docked in the port of Trista, she was seized by authorities in Italy. News of the yacht's seizure began to spread shortly after it was announced on March 12th. The sailing yacht A is said to be owned by Andrei Melnyshenko, a Russian billionaire who made his wealth as a coal and fertilizer magnate. Lena Lena is a 126-foot-long superyacht that was built by San Lorenzo in Italy. The motor yacht was constructed in Via Reggio shipyard and was finished and in the water by July of 2010. She can house up to 10 guests along with six crew members on board. The interior of the Lena is set up with five suites along with a VIP cabin for the guests to stay in and an area with rooms for the crew. Thanks to her semi-displacement hull along with twin diesel MTU 12V4000 M93 engines, the Lena is capable of maintaining comfortable cruising speeds of up to 25 knots with a maximum speed of 28 knots. She also has a range of just over 920 nautical miles thanks to the 30,000 liter fuel tanks that sit on board. The Lena is under the ownership of a Russian oil mogul by the name of Genady Timchenko, and while it's registered in the British Virgin Islands, she has been in San Remo since November of last year. It looks like that's where the Lena will be staying, at least for the time being since she was seized by Italian authorities. Lady Anastasia Featuring naval architecture by Ray Harvey, the motor yacht known as Lady Anastasia is a work of art. This 156-foot-long yacht was built in 2001 by a company known as Sensation Yachts and was designed to allow those on the sea to live a life of luxury. Inside of the yacht, guests will find five suites that can fit up to 10 guests on an overnight journey. The master suite can be found on the main deck and is home to a private office inside of its spacious cabin. It also contains a master bathroom where guests can find a luxurious bath carved out of honey onyx marble and fitted with gold faucets. There is a formal dining area where all of the guests can enjoy their meals alongside each other. The upper deck on the yacht is where visitors can enjoy the Sky Lounge, consisting of comfortable seating, a huge TV, and an entertainment system along with games for the guests to enjoy. Lady Anastasia's exterior is laid out perfectly, with social areas placed all along the deck with many places for guests to enjoy the sun along with some cocktails. Lady Anastasia is powered by multiple cat engines, each capable of putting out up to 2,650 horsepower, which allows the vessel to cruise comfortably at 12.5 knots and reach a top speed of 23 knots. On March 15th, the Lady Anastasia, which is said to be owned by Alexander Mikheyev, was seized by Spanish authorities in Mallorca. It's being reported that Mikheyev is the director of a high-end weapons export company in Russia known as Rosaboran Export. As of right now, he is currently under sanctions in Europe. Not only did the Lady Anastasia get seized by Spanish authorities, but someone actually attempted to sink the superyacht before that could ever happen. 
Taras Ostapchuk, a Ukrainian mechanic who was enraged by the assault in Kyiv, decided to take matters into his own hands after seeing footage of the attack on his homeland. Right now, he is being accused of opening specific valves in the engine room in an attempt to cause the yacht to sink. And though this might have failed, Ostapchuk claims that he doesn't regret his decision and would do it again. Crescent the Lursen shipyard in Germany released its massive mega yacht, Crescent, in 2019, and it's one of the largest yachts in the world. She has a length of 445 feet, with her beam being 69 feet and a draft of 17.1 feet. The Crescent's hull is made entirely out of steel and surrounds an aluminum superstructure to ensure high levels of durability. The interior of the yacht consists of nine guest suites that can sleep up to 18 people, along with 20 cabins for the 40 onboard crew members. Guests on board the Crescent will be graced with countless amenities, including a swimming platform, a spa room, and even an onboard movie theater. There are two helipads on the deck as well. Crescent is capable of reaching a maximum speed of 15 knots with a cruising speed of 11 knots to keep its guests comfortable. This is all thanks to the twin MTU-20V-1163M84 engines that are generating more than 7,500 horsepower. The Crescent was another superyacht that was seized in Spain. While sitting in the port of Tarragona in Catalonia on March 16th, authorities seized that yacht because it is believed to belong to Igor Sechin, meaning that he has had two superyachts taken from him in a matter of two weeks. As of right now, seven superyachts that are owned by Russian billionaires have been seized all around the world, and it appears that this is going to continue. How many more yachts do you think are going to be seized? Be sure to let us know in the comments below.